All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144. So to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the power of 6 on both sides. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. And this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. So x to the power of x to the power of 6 to the power of 6, I can actually switch these two places. So now I have x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144 to the power of 6. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 6 equal to the variable y. And now, because we have 2x to the power of 6 over here, I can simply substitute in y for x to the power of 6 into my equation. So if I do that, I get y to the power of y is equal to 144 to the power of 6. Now, what I'm going to do is rewrite 144 as 12 squared. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 12 squared to the power of 6. So now, what we're going to do is remember how we have this property. If I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m, as well as a to the power of n times m. So I have 12 to the power of 2 to the power of 6, and this is the same thing as 12 to the power of 2 times 6. And 2 times 6, that's equal to 12. So I have y to the power of y is equal to 12 to the power of 12. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y to the power of y is equal to 12 to the power of 12, meaning y is equal to 12. And now remember how we let x to the power of 6 equal to y. So I have x to the power of 6 is equal to 12, meaning x is equal to the 6 root of 12. Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 2x plus x to the power of x is equal to 20. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 2x as x to the power of x to the power of 2. And I can do this because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So now... I'm going to let the variable y equal x to the power of x. So now I have y squared plus y is equal to 20. Now from here, I'm going to subtract 20 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. And I'll be left with y squared plus y minus 20 is equal to 0. Now, y over here, I can rewrite this as 5y minus 4y. And now, the reason I did this is because I can factor by grouping. So for y squared plus 5y, I'm going to factor out y. So now I have y times y plus 5. And from negative 4y minus 20, I'm going to factor out negative 4. So I have negative 4 times y plus 5. Now from the entire equation, I'm going to factor out y plus 5. So now I have y plus 5 times y minus 4 
is equal to zero. So this actually gives me two equations. I get y plus five is equal to zero, and I get y minus four is equal to zero. So y minus four equals zero, y is equal to four, and for y plus five equals zero, y equals negative five. Now, because this is negative, this is not possible because notice how y is equal to x to the power of x. So you can't take the power of a negative number and make it positive. So I get four is equal to x to the power of x. And we have to find a number that works out for this. Well, the only number that is small enough is two. So x equals two because two to the power of two is four. So two is my answer to this equation. All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x plus four to the power of x plus one plus four to the power of x plus two is equal to 64. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna first start by using the property of exponents that says that if I have something from a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So four to the power of x plus one, that's gonna equal four to the power of, four to the power of x times four to the power of one. And four to the power of x plus two, that's gonna equal four to the power of x times four to the power of two. Now this is equal to 64. Now from here, I'm gonna factor out four to the power of x. So I get four to the power of x times one plus four plus four squared. And four squared is 64, so I get, or sorry, 16. So I get four to the power of x times one plus four plus 16. Now one plus four is five and five plus 16 is 21. So I get four to the power of x times 21 is equal to 64. And now if I divide both sides by 21, I get four to the power of x is equal to 64 divided by 21. Now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I get log four to the power of x is equal to log 64 over 21. So if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's gonna equal b times log a. So log four to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So I get x times log four is equal to log 64 over 21. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 64 over 21, that's gonna equal log 64 minus log 21. And now I'm gonna divide both sides by log four. So I get X is equal to log 64 minus log 21 over log four. 